So hello to about 10,000 more of you guys here. Um, thank you guys very much for subscribing to the video. Thank you very much to 644 Honda uh, for everything he did to bring you guys over here. But I am returning now to the site of where I found FC. That's why you guys all joined and subscribed here, right? So one of the things... Uh, when someone gets a lot of subscribers on YouTube from a particular video, at least for me, I kind of wonder what happened in that video, you know? And sometimes you don't get that feeling. You don't get that, I don't know what you want to call it, closure of what the actual story was. It's kind of weird being back here at the site, but that's where the little guy was, where I found him. That's the bike. Um, that's the field. This is the little neighborhood that he's actually was found in. So, I don't know. I got a lot of questions from that video. So, let me go ahead and try to respond to you guys on some of them right now. So, let's write in chat, shall we? Um, one of the questions I got from people and I was looking in my comments of my video and also six foots is that they thought that it was too convenient that I found this cat like did I did I set this cat up was this my cat was this like a genuine video um 100% absolutely this was a genuine video what I was actually doing that morning was coming out to do a moto vlog and I really didn't have a topic I was just kind of exploring and I found this like area and this is something that you can see in some of my other videos is that I look for areas where and this happens a lot in Georgia and I haven't lived in Georgia for not even a year I used to live in Chicago if you guys watch some of my other videos but um, there's lots of just like random places where there's no one around where you can like hooligan around on and that's all I was doing that's literally, literally all I was doing when I was coming out to make this video. And then, when I actually got down to a corner, that's when I saw FZ. So your next question might be, why did I actually stop and help FZ? Um, because I know there's a lot of people out there that you might like animals like you might find your friends they love and they post all these pictures of their dogs and all this other stuff but it doesn't necessarily mean that they love all animals like there are a lot of you guys that had no idea why I would help a cat and you guys ask me you know do I have pets all the other kind of stuff so yes I do have pets um, here they are so for you guys right there that's <laughs> that's my dog Onyx she is 10 years old. I've had her like all her life. The cat, that's Icarus. He's about five. I've had him since he was like six months old as well. Almost all of his life. Both of them I got from the uh, rescue shelter. I believe that's a good thing that you should do to pets because it's, you know, they, they have a tough time. Uh, the other question I get is, um, this is strange, but it, it just shows that people don't really watch your videos all the way to the end. Is that, how's FC doing? Um, FC didn't make it. In the video, if you watch it all to the end, you know that he had a perforated stomach. What that means is he had a hole in his stomach and we don't know why. Um, I took FC to the vet right away because that's another thing that you guys are wondering is that why didn't I take FC to the vet right away? I did. At the end of that video, once I got FC home, all I did was give FC some food and water, and then immediately we started calling places, and we took him to the emergency vet because it was a weekend, and most vets um, don't carry hours on Sundays. They're usually closed on Sundays, so we had to call around to a lot of places to actually find a place to actually take him. Um, you know, FC didn't want to really move. He didn't want to walk very much at all. So we went and took X-rays, and that's when we discovered he had a perforated stomach. That was the point where the veterinarian, I trust them too. They were really, really nice veterinarians. Like they, they really wanted FZ to pull through, but it was, it, it was just one of those things where it's like, 
he was in such a bad shape that he would probably have died in the operation. Um, and there was really not much that you could do for him. Really, so at the vet, at the vet's recommendation uh, was that, you know, that instead of putting him through excessive suffering, that we just put him down. Guys, that's the story of FC. Hopefully this video gave you guys a little bit of what I like to call closure when you join up on YouTube and find someone's new channel and you're trying to figure out what actually happened in that video. This is actually what happened in that video. Very thankful for you guys being here. Thank you guys for all your kind, kind comments. They really meant a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,